Welcome to Coral Gables Country Club subdivision. Right here in this house tour, we are going to be taking a look at a beautiful seven bedroom, six full bath, two half baths. This is a 1924 house. This house is almost a hundred, well, it is a hundred years old. So come on inside with me. We're going to take a look at this humongous home. And I love this because it has so much character, so much charm. Let's just jump right into the video. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. If it's your first time here, my name is is Joe. I'm a real estate advisor with Compass here in Miami and I do house tour videos. So today we are in Coral Gables, like I said, taking a look at an absolutely gorgeous 1924s house. I mean, look at this. You see these beams, you see these original details. Um, just really quick, I'm going to take you through the entire house, so make sure you stay till the end, but right off the entryway, super cute little charming bathroom. And You've probably seen my other videos where we go through the modern houses, but I'm gonna spend a little bit of extra time on this home just because there's so much charm and uniqueness. So right behind me is the kitchen, dining area, staff quarters, garage. I'm gonna take you over to the left wing of the house. So this wing is where most of the living area is. So you have a wet bar. Your bar has a sink right back here. You have speakers pumping music through the ceiling and then you have an area for TV room, a den. What I absolutely love is that if you are a pianist, you have a gorgeous room, four windows right over here. You can play piano, see the cars go by. You're right caddy corner to the Biltmore Hotel, which is right down the street. So I think this is just a nice little area. Maybe if you don't play piano, you can put like a table, a little dining circle table over there bathroom. We'll go upstairs in a second, but I want to pause here for a second. So right now this is set up and configured as like a memorabilia. You have the pool table um, and you do have a bedroom here. Now I talked to the listing agent and she brought up a good point. If I was to redo a master and I want my primary to be humongous and elegant, I would wall this off right here and I would turn this room into my master. So I have some nice windows, maybe might knock this wall down here because this is set up as a bedroom for the owners right now. And then you have your bathroom and this leads out to the pool. So all the windows and doors are hurricane impact. So that has been done and the kitchen has been updated. I'll take you right upstairs. Oh, another question, you know, in a two story house like this, a lot of them in Coral Gables, they have an elevator. I think that you could definitely maybe like fit an elevator here if you were wanting to build that, um, replace this staircase because there is another set of stairs right on the other side. So we're coming in here, we're taking a look at our bedrooms. This is one of the first bedrooms. I absolutely love this one because take a look at the ceiling. You have a little picturesque window boxes. You have this bathroom that you step into. You have a tub with the shower and just tons of light from every single corner, east, south, west views. I love that the texture on the walls is super charming. They didn't do like a flat coat. They left the original charm. This is another bedroom. with bathroom, tub, shower combo. Now, as we walk down this hallway, this is our primary. So it splits off. Right over here, this is your primary bedroom. And then you have your bathroom right over here. Really nice size, super deep closets. Closets are built out, tons of storage. And then you do have stand-up shower, nice tub. So that's one side of the master wing. And then as we walk over, it continues into, this would be like a den, card room. You do have your fireplace right over there. And then as we keep on walking, we have a couple more bedrooms over here. This is set up as an office and a gym, bathroom, 
And then this is set up as like a nursery room, kids room. All right, so we just walked over from the one side of the house to the other. We're gonna take down these stairs now. And this spit us off right in our dining room. So we entered right through here of our dining room. This is a nice sitting area. And then we're in our kitchen. So the kitchen has been completely renovated and this is a really cool spot just to hang out and entertain. There's tons of bar seating because you know people are always congregating in the kitchen. And then you have some nice touches. So you have your gas range, but then you also have your induction. So you have two burners right here. You have the full gas range with the pasta arm and everything. But this is for those times where you don't wanna turn on the gas and maybe you just wanna make some mac and cheese or heat up something really quick. You have the induction here, all top of the line, Wolf appliances and the kitchen appliances, like the small guys, they're all hidden away in cabinets just because you don't like that kind of stuff, you know, on your counter taking up space. Uh, right behind me, another area to sit. And then this would be your staff's quarters. So if you have a nanny or if you have a live-in person, they have a full bathroom and a little bed kind of tucked away right over here. So now we'll make our way out into the backyard, which is gorgeous. All right, still a great day for a little rain but this is your gorgeous backyard and it's a pretty great size. So you have your pool, you have a little hot tub with a waterfall action, have a decent size little piece of grass, little bench. I think this would be great if you had a dog, if you just have family, you can really entertain them out here. And just take a look here, you have just really nice Spanish architecture. So you see the tile roof, the blue awnings, Everything is super cute and charming. Yeah, you could come in here, you could do renovations if you want. Um, it has the big ticket items. It has, you know, the kitchen that's redone. It has the hurricane impact windows and doors. So it's ready for updates if you really want it. But I think that it's pretty cool just as is. Again, you know, some people are gonna have different design ideas, but I think this is a super cute, charming house in Coral Gables. So what do you think about this house tour? Could you see yourself living here? Let me know in the comments below. Drop a comment down there. Just let me know if you enjoyed this tour or if there's another type of house that you wanna see. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.